Howdy folks, t is here, and uh, man, I'm not gonna lie, I've been really looking forward to this figure since I found out they're gonna put out a Hordak. He's like one of my favorite characters in Motu, like especially for the evil Horde, and um, he is the embodiment of evil to me, or the personification of uh, of all evil, and um, and probably the closest thing you could get to like a some kind of techno demon or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, Hordak, dude, Princess of Power, dude, really good stuff, man. I love this guy. He's he's just he's one of my freaking favorites. So it's uh, ruthless evil evil horde Hordak. He is in the back on his throne, and we've got Leech right there. Which, oh, man, if we get a beefy Leech like that, that's gonna be awesome. There's good old Man, man Maintana, and uh, yeah, man, more characters in the wave. Obviously, Shira, animated core He Man Zodak, animated core uh, Skeletor, and Catra. So that's very very awesome. And uh, let's see, Ruthless Leader of the Evil Horde, banished from Eternia by his people Skeletor, the vile Hordak rules the planet Etheria from the Fright Zone with cruel technology and dark magic. This ruthless tyrant delights in the pain and misery of others, even those in his evil horde who are most loyal to him. So he doesn't give a damn, dude. Even if you're like one of his best warriors, he'll still, he'll still take you down a notch or two. So that's cool, man. There he is with his blasty arm gun. Freaking awesome art as usual. And uh, yeah, man, let's get this guy open and check him out. Once again, folks, watch out for the little T-hooks in here or whatever. Or the little T-things or whatever. And uh, yeah, T-tags. So you don't rip out your cape. Alrighty, y'all. And here he is with all of his stuff, man. It's really cool. I think we get the same blasty effect that we got with, uh, with the Sky Sled. So from the Battle Ram or whatever. Looks like the absolute same and um got a crossbow i like this version of the crossbow it doesn't do it doesn't have a gimmick but it looks cool it looks like it's got some kind of energy blast that's going to shoot out the eyes or something so that's cool that is pretty rad it's translucent so that's pretty cool too and um yeah really rad here's a regular like humanoid arm or whatever it's all blue with cool black wristband thingy that's cool and the, and the horde arm band with like the hordak logo or whatever the bat wings and you got a he's got like i guess like a force choke hand or whatever so that's cool or just like a trigger finger and then he's got a robot hand you can put on his blasty arm so that's cool too very awesome man really cool freaking figure and uh then he's got a grippy hand and he's got a shield, like a horde shield, so that's really cool too. And this is, I like this a little bit better than the, I'm glad they didn't stick with the same old, like, Origins and Vintage One or whatever, or even like the Classics or whatever, like they just gave him just, it's just an actual shield, so that's really cool. I like that, that actually works, doesn't look that silly, and it's very cool. Here's good old Hordak. Yeah, he's got kind of a weird white face man and it's cool because i like these kind of imperfections on top i think they kind of add to it a little bit if you can see it's kind of hard to see probably but yeah very cool man it's kind of almost like a mother of pearl like white finish or whatever with some weird speckled gray wash in there or just kind of whatever but yeah and then it's like a very traditional look. He's even got the duck build feet. Or not the duck build, but like the duck feet from uh, like the, the cartoon, which is very rad. Nice paint on the boots. You got a flat and then you got a glossy black bat on there. So that's cool. This is really nice detail on this guy. They went all out with Hordak, dude. Looks like you could take this off too, but hell no, I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to leave it on. That's stupid. Uh, it looks like it's already kind of ready to come off right there, but push that back in but anyways cloth cape unlike uh mcfarlane toys where they give you a or somewhat cloth it's like a nylon cape but still it's better than the damn crap we've been getting from mcfarlane toys for sure because in a good like fan or something it would like kind of flow and billow or whatever or blow in the wind but yeah really cool got a raging fist hand fist of vengeance so that's really cool and it's just awesome, man. They did a good job, man. They, oh, man, really knocked out of the park with him. And yeah, man, we gotta like at least get some of his effects on his blasty arm and see how that looks. 
and uh yeah that pegs in nicely wow that's really cool and here he is in a nice little blast pose that's pretty cool looks freaking awesome man this is this is a hordak we never had that now we have so that's, that's pretty rad dude. it looks very very cool and of course this like whole like little cow thing or whatever you want to call it um it's like a separate piece with the cape attached to it which we're not going to take off we're going to leave it on so yeah but either way it just looks just freaking freaking awesome man here he is with double the weaponry so very very cool man just ready to do crazy crazy battle and here we have him with his robot hand and his shield so it's pretty pretty freaking nice man that is really cool. The, um, one thing I want to point out too, I mean, his the way you can turn his head is kind of hindered by his outfit right here, you know? And then it's also hindered by, you know, his armor too, like with the arms and stuff. There's a little hindrance there, but other than that, it still works pretty freaking well. You can even give him his crossbow with the robot arm on and everything and still have his shield. So yeah, you could just, there's endless combinations you can do with this figure, which is really rad. And finally, we have him with this other arm with the Fist of Vengeance. And uh, yeah, you can still have his shield on. And you can actually clip from the opposite way the his crossbow in case he just wants to hold it for that pose, for that picture, you know, or whatever on the battlefield. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's been a look at Hordak. Very freaking cool. We'll have to have him stand up next to She-Ra and stuff in a minute. But yeah, just just a freaking awesome figure, man. Just really outstanding. Um yeah, they really knocked it out of the park. Is it perfect? Probably not to some people. I mean, yeah, I mean, is, is any action figure perfect ever? No, I don't think so. Um, but hey, that, that's how it is sometimes. But other than that, you've got like the flat duck feet, like from the cartoon. The head looks very different from any Hordak I'm used to seeing. So that's very cool too, but it's still Hordak. It's still the same thing, but it's not. It's a little different, a little new. It's uh, it's cool, man. It's a nice fresh take on Hordak, man. Especially with the shield and the crossbow and the added robot arm, which is very old school. And um, and actually with the, you know, you get, you get so much with this figure. It, it's really a lot. And finally, here he is next to She-Ra, so you can see them together, because they both came together in the freaking mail, so that's awesome. And uh, thanks, BBTS, because you guys rock. You actually got these figures pretty soon, and I don't even know if these guys are at Target yet. I probably won't even see it. Well, okay, from this video, from today's date on this video or whatever, September 3rd, we'll see how long it takes for these to get here in Austin, Texas, and <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll see how freaking long it takes to get them in the neighborhood. Other than that, yeah, I'm glad for BBTS because other than that, I wouldn't be able to find crap ever. Here's some more of the same all together. There's He-Man. He-Man still, this revelation, He-Man still looks pretty damn beefy and pretty chunky, dude, compared to Hordak. Hordak is chunky and beefy, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, they just look a little different, man. You know, it's, it's, it's cool, man. It's very cool. And, um, cause He-Man can still be intimidating and, uh, and so can Hordak. But, uh, then there's She-Ra looking awesome. And all her armor. And then Tila looking like Tila, man. So that's pretty cool, dude. Very, very, very awesome collection. I love the Masterverse. Anyways, let me know what you think about this figure, if you're going to get him or not. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm glad my buddy Altena already got him already. I got to go watch his video as soon as I'm done with this. And uh, and check out his surprise. Because, uh, because man, I'm, I'm surely surprised by this figure, man. It's, it's really cool. It, it's um got to work with them a little bit but uh other than that man he's, he's still pretty freaking awesome if you're a hordak fan anyway thanks for watching y'all and have a good one all right later